The NBA has six different divisions. These include the Atlantic Division with the Boston Celtics, Brooklyn Nets, New York Knicks, Philadelphia 76ers, and Toronto Raptors. The Central Division with the Chicago Bulls, Cleveland Cavaliers, Detroit Pistons, Indiana Pacers, and Milwaukee Bucks. The Northwest Division with the Denver Nuggets, Minnesota Timberwolves, Oklahoma City Thunder, Portland Trailblazers, and Utah Jazz. The Pacific Division with the Golden State Warriors, Los Angeles Clippers, Los Angeles Angeles Lakers, Phoenix Suns, and Sacramento Kings. The Southeast Division with the Atlanta Hawks, Charlotte Hornets, Miami Heat, Orlando Magic, and Washington Wizards. And the Southwest Division with the Dallas Mavericks, Houston Rockets, Memphis Grizzlies, New Orleans Pelicans, and San Antonio Spurs. That's 30 teams and 6 divisions, and it looks like there's something else on this map. You might have to look a little closer to find it. Do you see it now? That's right, it's Raid Shadow Legends, an amazing game that you can play on either your mobile device or personal computer. Raid Shadow Legends has a ton of champions, over 600 now. All of those champions come from unique factions, each with their own history in the world of Teleria. Today, let's meet the fantasy's favorite bad guys, the Orcs. Orcs get a bad rep in fantasy, but in Raid, they're not all bad. While they were created by the Dark Lord, they have a really good reason to not like humans. After a brutal war fought against the Banner Lords, High Elves, and Sacred Order, their lands were annexed, forcing most Orc clans to become nomadic. Now they're mostly just trying to survive. Seeing an ally with Queen Eva of the Elves, they now joined her cause, but they don't know her true motivations. Want to find out more? Play the campaign for the full story. These guys look really cool. You can see just how much each orc is influenced by its tribe and personality in each design. Some of my favorites include Angar. His armor makes quite the fashion statement. Warlord, he's got a beard worth fearing. And Varl the Destroyer, he's got a useful pair of dual blades. This is the best time to get started in Raid, and if you click my link in the description or scan my QR code on screen, you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free epic champion, Rector Draft. 200k silver, 1 energy refill, and 1 XP boost, and 1 ancient shard, so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. All this treasure will be waiting for you right here in the corner of your screen. The rewards will only be available for the next 30 days and for new players, so what are you waiting for? Download Raid for free by clicking that top link down below or with the QR code on screen. Thanks to Raid for sponsoring this video. Let's start in the northeast corner with the Atlantic Division. There are a lot of great options for point guard, from Kyrie Irving, Prime Rajon Rondo, Kyle Lowry, and Bob Cousy to name a few. But I'm going with the engine, Jason Kidd, who played a large part of his prime alongside the New Jersey Nets. Jason himself is not just a jack of all trades, but a king of all trades. He's great as a pass first point guard, leading the league in assists five times. He's a great scorer, he once put up almost 19 points per game in his 2003 season, and he's great on defense as well. He's a nine time all defensive player. Shooting guard needs no debate. This one goes to the answer, Allen Iverson. AI is a Hall of Famer, the 2001 MVP, and is one of the best ball handlers and scorers the game has ever seen. He's crossed the goat of the sport. What more needs to be said? Small forward would be a tough choice if we're going by all-time prime talent standards with Kevin Durant versus Larry Bird. Talent-wise, that is a close call. But if we are debating what KD has done so far as of this upload for the Nets versus what Larry has done for the Celtics, it's not much of a debate then. This goes to the three-time Celtics champ, Bird is the word Larry. Power forward has a lot of great options from Carmelo Anthony, Chris Bosh, Kevin Garnett, you could even slide in Bird or Kevin Durant here, but I have at least 11 reasons why Bill Russell should get this spot. I would place Bill at center until you see who I got for center. At center is without a doubt Philadelphia 76ers Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt played for both the Philadelphia Warriors and the Philadelphia 76ers. Same city but different franchise. Rest in peace to Wilt Chamberlain. This team has a great combination of defense, shooting, range, and athleticism with the likes of Wilt and Bill. Next up is the Central Division, which includes the likes of the Chicago Bulls, Cleveland Cavaliers, Detroit Pistons, Indiana Pacers, and Milwaukee Bucks. For point guard, we have to go with Zeke Isaiah Thomas. MVP Derrick Rose and Cavs Kyrie make fair runners up, but this easily goes to Isaiah, who is without a doubt a top five, heck, top three point guard in NBA history. 
though chemistry wise, he might not get along well with our shooting guard. At shooting guard, we have the goat of the sport, Michael Jordan. Jordan and Isaiah Thomas have quite the rivalry together, and even some beef between the two, but the talent is too high to let some drama get in the way. At small forward, is easily the second best player, which is LeBron James. No need for an explanation. Team Central Division's power forward is the two-time MVP so far, which is Giannis Antetokounmpo. There are a lot of other star power forwards in this division, but not that many with two MVPs. At center, we have one of the best centers the game has ever seen, which is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar from the Milwaukee Bucks. A fair second can include the likes of Ben Wallace or Artis Gilmore. This team has the top three players in NBA history on the same starting five, being Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You also got MVP talent in Giannis and MVP caliber talent in Isaiah. While he didn't win the trophy itself, he's good enough to be MVP status. Let's stay north, but keep moving west. We got the Northwest Division, which include the Denver Nuggets, Minnesota Timberwolves, Oklahoma City Thunder, Portland Trailblazers, and Utah Jazz. Point guard has a lot of great options. You got Dame Dalla, The Glove Gary Payton, Chris Paul, Pistol Pete, Russell Westbrook, and John Stockton. Russell Westbrook is an MVP. His explosiveness and athleticism should not be ignored. But if you want to do it all textbook point guard, who is a floor general and a defensive pro, then this spot goes to John Stockton. John is easily a top five all-time point guard. Shooting guard has some pretty solid picks. You got Supersonics Dennis Johnson or Ray Allen. Then there's Donovan Mitchell. But this easily goes to Clyde the Glide Drexler, who is one of the greatest shooting guards the game has ever seen. He's a 10-time All-Star and a 5-time All-NBA player. Small Ford has a good pool of selections with the likes of Nuggets Carmelo Anthony, Nuggets Alex English, but we have to go with MVP Thunder Kevin Durant. KD may have been young during his days in OKC, but he did reach the start of his prime during his MVP season, and maybe a few seasons prior when he reached the finals for the first time facing the Miami Heat. Power Ford is a close call between Karl Malone and Kevin Garnett. If we count KG's entire career, this would actually be a super close call. But as for the Northwest Division exclusively, you do get the first half of KG's career and the bitter end of it when he finally returns back to the Wolves. Carl, however, spent most of his career in Utah winning two MVPs and making the finals twice. That's a big H-E-L-L-N-A-H. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not a no, but a no. At center, we are going with one of the most underrated and efficient MVPs the game has ever seen, and that's Nikola Jokic. A close second would be Bill Walton of the Portland Trailblazers, who is an MVP and a champion, but I think Jokic's efficiency and range can make him more a unique center for this team. Overall, this team has great off-the-bat chemistry with a duo of John and Carl, plus you got great efficient players like Kevin Durant and Nikola Jokic. And now for the Pacific Division, which includes includes the Golden State Warriors, Los Angeles Clippers, Los Angeles Lakers, Phoenix Suns, and Sacramento Kings. Point guard has a lot of great choices. There's Steve Nash, Chris Paul, the big O Oscar Robertson to name a few. My pick at point guard is the best point guard to ever play the game so far, and that's Irvin Magic Johnson, who's a five-time champ, three-time MVP, and 12-time All-Star. At shooting guard, my pick is going to be Steph Curry. While Steph is listed as a point guard, his playstyle can easily play the two spot with his lights out shooting and three point range. Curry so far is a three time champ and a two time MVP. At small forward, I have to go with the Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant. While Kobe mainly plays shooting guard, he has and can play the three spot. Kobe is a legendary two-way player who can not only score like no tomorrow, but is also a 12-time all-defensive player. Some runners-up at this spot include Lakers LeBron James, Clippers Kawhi Leonard, and Warriors Kevin Durant, but these players only played a portion of their career in the Pacific Division. Kobe was a Laker lifer. Rest in peace to the Mamba. Power Forward has a lot of great options. There's Chris Webber, Amari Stoudemire, Prime Blake Griffin, but I'm going with MVP Charles Barkley. Charles and the Suns made it all the way to the finals, but lost to the goat of the sport, MJ. Center is a super close call between Lakers Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Warriors plus Lakers Wilt Chamberlain. There's no wrong answer, it's so close that it's pretty much a coin toss, but my pick is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Wilt spent his very early days with the Warriors, but his true prime was technically on the 76ers. The Lakers got a true prime Kareem at age 28 all the way to 41, and he was still averaging over 4 
14 points per game when he was 40, so my pick goes to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. What's cool about this starting five is that every position has an MVP and you got GOATs on this roster. There's three top 10 all-time players here, maybe even four if Curry finishes his career strong. From one shining seed to another, let's go to the Southeast Division with the likes of the Atlanta Hawks, Charlotte Hornets, Miami Heat, Orlando Magic, and Washington Wizards. Some great picks for point guard include Kemba Walker, John Wall, LaMelo Ball, Trey Young, and Gilbert Arenas. I think soon if Trey keeps up his game, he will one day claim this spot and maybe even LaMelo Ball, but for now this one goes to Gilbert Arenas who spent the majority of his career with the Washington Wizards. In his best scoring season, he put up over 29 points per game, was a 3-time All-Star and 3-time All-NBA player. Shooting guard without question goes to Dwayne Wade, who's the third best shooting guard of all time. This needs no debate. At small forward is easily the second best player, which is LeBron James. No need for an explanation. Power forward has a lot of great picks. There's Alonzo Mourning from both his days with the Heat and Hornets, and then there's Alvin Hayes, and technically there's also Dwight Howard, who was the designated four spot for his first two seasons in Orlando, and is athletic enough to play the four. Dwight won three depoys in Orlando and led his team to the finals. Howard was playing at an MVP level. The trophy itself is more of a media vote decision. My pick goes to Superman. Speaking of Superman, at center we have the original Superman, Shaquille O'Neal, who played for the Orlando Magic, and technically you can also count his days with the Heat as well, which are also in this division. Plus Dwight Howard played for the Hornets too, so that counts as Hornets representation for this division. This team has a lot of superheroes, you got two Supermen and one Flash in Dwayne Wade. This is definitely a Justice League. And last, but definitely not least, is the Southwest Division, which includes the likes of the Dallas Mavericks, Houston Rockets, Memphis Grizzlies, New Orleans Pelicans, and San Antonio Spurs. Point Guard has a lot of great picks. You got Steve Nash and Jason Kidd during their times with the Mavericks, Chris Paul during his early days, and technically some of his time with the Rockets and John ja Morant, who might one day claim this spot. But if we go with overall careers, this one goes to Tony Parker. If you compare Jason Kidd's and Chris Paul's overall career, you can make a good argument to place them over Tony, but they only spent a chunk of their careers in the Southwest Division. Same can be said for Steve Nash. Tony, however, spent nearly his entire career playing for the Spurs. He's a Finals MVP, a champion, and the Spurs' best point guard. Shooting guard easily goes to the MVP Rockets' James Harden, who won the MVP in 2018 while playing for the Houston Rockets. Small forward is really tough. I can be very strict with my positioning and use only designated threes, or I can be a bit lenient and choose a power forward who has good enough range to play the three spot. If I'm being strict, there's a likes of Rockets Tracy McGrady, Spurs Kawhi Leonard, and Luka Doncic, but I do feel like I want to squeeze Dirk into this spot. He's an MVP, a Finals MVP, and defeated all odds in that 2011 Finals going up against the Big 3 Heat. Power forward easily goes to the best power forward of all time, Tim Duncan, no debate necessary. Center, you got one of the best centers ever, Akeem Olajuwon. Some honorable mentions include Yao Ming and David Robinson, but none come close to Hakeem the Dream. This team is quite tall with three seven-footers in their front court, and they're loaded with MVPs from positions two through five, and Tony Parker is MVP caliber in his prime. So here are my picks for each division's all-time starting five. Let me know which division has the best starting five, and if you agree with these picks. Don't forget to dunk on that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later.